they look like um what do they call them winter chanterelles but i don't know for sure so i'm not going to eat them but check it out i'm tempted to go over here um by my raspberry patch and um remember last week i had uh like this big old flush of mushrooms that I showed you guys. And I don't know, man. Uh, I think these are winter chanterelles. I'm tempted to pick all of these guys while they're still really nice like this and dry them and just like get a positive identification on these fellers. Uh, Cause boy, these are some nice little buddies. So I left some of the little guys and some of the older looking fellows. And this is my stash right here. So let's go find out what these guys are. Okay, so taking a close look at these mushrooms, there is no veil at the top here of the stem of the mushroom. No veil. And can you see? <laughs> There is a little bit of furriness on the stem. I don't know. I wouldn't say that this mushroom is slimy. I've been trying to get a spore print and it was sitting right here. I don't know what color those spores are. Maybe I need a dark paper because there might be light colored spores. Okay, so taking a look at my book, All That the Rain Promises and More, about mushrooms, by David Aurora. So my mushroom is not a yellow foot or winter chanterelle because here the gills run down the stem. So it's not that. It could be this velvet foot. Um, there you go there. Cap fairly small. Cap broadly rounded to flat. Surface of cap bald and sticky or slimy when moist. I don't know if it's really sticky or slimy, but gills white to pale yellow, yes. Stalks slender, tough, becoming velvety and rusty brown. Yes, it is kind of hairy. Veil, ring, and vulva absent, and that is true. Spores white. We'll need to check it on something that has a dark background and see if we can't find white spores. Growing in tufts or clusters on dead wood. And I think that there's dead wood underneath that mossy area. And um says edibility bland, but can be eaten. Note, be sure not to confuse this mushroom with brown spored wood rotters, such as the deadly gallerina. It has a deadly lookalike. This is the deadly gallerina. Now these mushrooms have a veil. I don't see a veil on the stems of any of the mushrooms that I have, but they could just have disappeared. Cap small, a little bit smaller maybe. Surface of cap sticky when moist, I don't know. Gills tan or brown, slender stalk, veil present forming a ring on the upper stalk that may disappear with age. Spores brown or rusty brown. They didn't show up brown on the white paper, but who knows, growing on wood. Deadly poisonous, contains the same toxins as the de deadly amanitas. So you don't really wanna take a chance on that mushroom. Close up of the gills. Let's get a spore print on something dark. Mushrooms on black plastic. Okay, so it's been about four hours later. Maybe I should leave these overnight. 
I don't know. Uh, those look like perhaps white spores to me. Or maybe it's just condensation. I don't know. Uh, if they were white, that would mean that it was not a deadly poisonous mushroom, but I am not going to eat it anyway. Well, folks, I'm going to return my dried mushrooms back to the earth. <laughs> <laughs>